Okay. March 25th, John Besser speaking. Got a letter in the mail from Boyd Beckyu. I don't know that man. I think he's county attorney, ex-county attorney from Candy O.I. County that got voted out. Robin Finke hired him to hear our case, which it don't matter, Robin. It's got to be your U.S. attorney to hear it. Somebody else and it's got to get out of the fishbowl, Robin. Can't keep bringing your cronies into this here. So, uh, Boyd Becky, what you got to say means nothing. Nothing. You're covering up the crimes of Swift County. You're involved with Chad the felon Larson. So, have at it, Boyd. But I ain't going to take no for an answer until the U.S. Marshals, FBI, U.S. Attorney, State Attorney, somebody bigger than you comes and talks to us. So, enjoy, Boyd. Enjoy. So, what do you think about all that? Oh, I think it's a it's a big joke, because uh, if we go a little bit of history about Boyd Beckyu, okay, Boyd Beckyu has a history of malicious prosecution, okay, not only with me, but with Scott Wagger. I mean, he charged the guy for defending his home. Kind of sounds like Jonathan Patrick Benson with the uh, Chad the Felon Larson too, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyhow, that case got dismissed. You know, not after the judge first saw the case. No, it was months later until someone came down there and handed a bunch of flyers saying it was a malicious prosecution. And then all of a sudden, Boyd decided he's going to drop the case. In fact, he was pissed that it got dropped. Okay? Plus, you remember that uh, just the other day that Chad the felon Larson made some uh, damaging comment? Oh, yeah, on YouTube, I believe it was. Yeah, something about, and you harbored it, didn't you? Remember, that's how he sent a weapon into the Todd County Jail? Yep, and yep. Did, that was wa- his little comeback. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, he's an... Well, Im- both. Right, so he's an admitted felon, right? Yep. Okay. Well, the only problem is that uh, anytime you have a felon who ad- admits he's engaged in, you know, felonies, uh, then you got to look into all his past cases, right? Yep, that's correct. Okay, so guess who's involved with Chad the Felon Larson in a case of home invasion? Oh, I wonder if that could be Boyd Becky. Oh my goodness, it is. Oh he, my. Yeah, he sent one. Almost, huh? Yeah, he sent one of his little thugs up here, and they broke into my house with the thugs from Douglas County or from uh, Pope County here. You know, no warrant. That's called home invasion. I think most people call it burglary. Burglary in the first degree, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, you've got a guy who gets his ass handed to him in election because he's involved in malicious prosecution. Okay? He lost the, he lost the election. Okay, uh, Jen, Jen Johnson, or Jennifer Fisher, got 78% of the vote. I, I think they're pretty much tired of Boyd Becky, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you know... He's involved in malicious prosecution, has a history of it, okay? Got booted out of office, right? Yep. Okay? And now, who do you suppose Robin Finke can can uh, lasso to help him with this phony case? You know, because, remember, they investigated it right away, didn't they? Oh, yeah, and we were going to get a contact right away a month later. It's sort of, ain't that sort of funny, though? We... Had to go talk when we talked to Chad Larson, and now we get the letter a couple days later after we beat Chad Larson up with his little felony crimes. Yeah, isn't that kind of strange? You know, we were down there in uh, in uh, uh, Benson too back in oh. fe- February, and then all of a sudden, who gets up gets to be on KSAX? Oh yeah, yeah, Mr. Finky and Mr. Felon Chad the Larson. Yeah, boy, isn't that strange? You know, so I think that they had some major problems, you know, with their little cases here. I mean, like Robin Finky trying to bury this thing. Because remember, when did we file this thing? That was way back in December, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yep. So then we didn't hear anything until we showed up there and started bullhorning in town, right? Yep. So I mean, you know, if you know, you and I read this letter and we had a good laugh, right? Oh, yeah, it was a very good laugh. 
Yeah. So, so, I mean, the thing is, if this was so open and shut like Boyd Becky wants to make it out to be, and, of course, the letter is up on the website there if anyone's dumb enough to read it, you know, if it was so open and shut, how come we had to force them, force them to investigate this thing? Really? I, I mean, no. does that make sense? No. I, I mean, it should have been open and shut right away. They should, you know, she Dozdal should have just, you know, flew out this case and had it done within a week. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know, didn't didn't we figure it out that uh, the way the rate she was going, it'd take like two and a half years for her to investigate every single individual. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, I was reading in a book here. It's called um, "Managing Activism: A Guide to Dealing with Activist Groups and Pressure Groups." Okay, and it says. Chapter 2, How Not to Deal with Activists. Ignore, ignoring activists increases the likelihood that they will seek third-party intervention from the media, the government, and the public to force change. Avoiding issues encourages them to spiral out of control. Okay, so who did we want to investigate this case? Well, we wanted the Attorney Generals to investigate all this. Yeah, either the Minnesota Attorney General or the U.S. Attorney General, right? Yeah, yeah I'll take either one of them. So. Right, but see, like you said, Finky wants to keep this in the fishbowl. That's why he hires Boyd Becku, and then that's back in the fishbowl, right? It's oh, it's the fox guarding the the hen house again, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, big time. See, so again, there's no reason for us to believe anything that Boyd Becku would say because I mean he's got a criminal past. Plus, I mean he doesn't like me for sure. Okay. And more than likely, he doesn't like you because, you know, you there was some problems with the, you know, judge in Canyon County, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, there's a judge there. So, his other buddy, so. Right, that was uh, Catherine Smith, right? Yep, Catherine Smith. And they didn't like it that you were handing out flyers about her in town, right? No, no, she didn't like that one bit, so. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, you, you'd think that... Uh, they could get a county attorney to, to take this job instead of hiring Boyd Becky, you'd think, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, you'd think she would have took it, you know, but yeah, yeah, she don't want to get her hands dirty with it because there's too much crime involved with it. So Right, because Boyd Becky, he's a political whore that just got thrown out. Yeah, I'm trying to earn a halfway decent paycheck. I imagine Swift County's giving them a pretty good chunk of change to come, you know, smear our names a little more and lie and cheat and steal just like the rest of them. So. Right, right. So Jenna Fisher, you know, she's just newly elected like Chad the Felon Larson there, and the last thing she needs is a huge scandal. Oh, yeah, that one looked good for her this new into her election time here, so. Right, right. And see, Boyd Becky, he's disposable because, you know, he's he got his ass thrown out, so, you know, no one likes him to start with, so. Because, like I said, he's, he was engaged in malicious prosecution against Scott Wagger there, you know. So, you know, if the if this thing goes bad for Robin Finke, then really, uh, you know, Robin Finke, or, the you know, Jenna Fisher's got nothing to lose, and, and Boyd Becky's really got nothing to lose. He's going to get some coin in his pocket. Yep. But, I mean, like I said, Jenna Fisher's got a lot to lose because she might say something stupid like uh, Chad the Felon Larson did. Yep. Because Jenna Fisher is the one who was my, was my attorney, or supposedly was my attorney, when I arrested Judge Donald M. Spilseth. <laughs> oh. when, when he resisted arrest. Yep. So you can see how it's all intertwined here. So you can see why Jenna Fisher doesn't want to get her neck in this at all. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think any county attorney around is going to want to put their fingers on this. That's why it's got to be brought to the federal or state level here so right right and see i was looking at um there were some news articles about a cop who had shot up some guy's house and that was in Newmarket back in uh january 7th of 2009 and uh what they did was to avoid conflict of interest they sent it to a totally different county this was, the shooting took place in scott county and it says right here in the article, the shooting incident is being investigated by Dakota County authorities to avoid a conflict of interest. They didn't bring anyone in. They shipped it out to avoid conflict of interest. Remember, they got it out of the fishbowl. 
They didn't let it, you know, keep it in the fishbowl. Yeah. See? So, old Robin thinks he's pulling a fast one on us, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He thinks he's sly, so. Yeah, yeah. But no matter how much he tries, we know he's still a crook, right? Oh, big time crook. Yep, because Good crook. Judgment day's coming, Robin, so. Right. Fun Good. with it. Right, because crooks of a feather hang together. And like I said, well, you know, that's why Boyd Beckus tied hand and foot to Chad the Felon Larson through a phony warrant, home invasion, stuff like that. Well, and, and no matter how Robin Finky, you know, slithers and slimes around, he's still hooked to this defamation case. And, you know, we can still go downtown Benson anytime we want and, and tell all these facts too, can't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. The danger warning device is ready and primed, so <laughs> the felon Larson found out about it. <laughs> That's right. And he was about ready to piss his pants that day, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. It looked like he'd seen a ghost. <laughs> well, I think he saw the end of his career is what he saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I think this is Robin Finke's deal. He, his end of his career is coming. <laughs> dragging out all the dirty dogs that try burying this thing and it's not gonna work robin it's not gonna work so yeah that's right you just keep thinking you're winning but you're losing that's right got he's got to open in your mouth and we'll beat you over the head with every word you use exactly exactly and that's what we've done all along haven't we oh yeah oh yeah we just let them say whatever stupid thing they've wanted and we just clubbed them to death with it <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Well, I think I've said enough, so. Oh, yeah, I'm happy, so. Okay, you got anything else? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I just said good luck to Robin Finky. Wish you all the luck on this, but it ain't going to work, so. Just remember, feds or the state, somebody bigger than you has got to investigate this because... Swift County's involved with it, and you're Swift County, and Boyd Barbecue's Swift County. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'd like to say one thing, too. Robin Finke, you're a God-hating, un-American son of a bitch who loves and supports local corruption. Amen to that. <laughs> okay, thanks, John. <laughs>